What's up goodies? Welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen how to cook and today we're making vegan rice and peas fast, easy and simple. So if you're new here make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you will never miss another upload and for all of my returning goodies on a know same love on the right let's cook. did add some chopped chives to it and you can substitute that for dried parsley or fresh parsley you're going to need pimento seeds and I'm using a lot of bell peppers here and that's the color of choice I'm going to also add my celery and onions a scotch bonnet pepper skeleton and thyme and three cloves of garlic now in addition to that I did go in with my coconut milk you definitely need that and to make it fast easy and simple I did use a dark red kidney beans of course you could also use fresh kidney beans or red peas or whatever you want to call it and cook it from scratch and I'm going to use about three cups of parboiled rice and you can substitute for whatever kind of a rice that you like in your kitchen now to get started in my pot here I added some oil one third cup of cooking oil to be exact and I am using extra virgin olive oil for this recipe now to that I added added the onions the chopped onions and the lots of my bell pepper I love red pepper in it it's going to give it a lot of flavor and it's going to make it really really pretty then I added the celery to it and the uh, scallion of course you want to go in with the thyme right because we want this vegan rice and peas to add flavor I did add the pimento seeds to it and you could substitute that pimento seed for powdered allspice and the chopped hives you can substitute it again for the parsley now I did use my Ascotch bonnet pepper and I'm not going to pop it we're just adding flavor here to that I went in and added that three cloves of garlic chopped now you want to give it a nice little mix but you do not want to overcook overcook your vegetables here you're just going to stir them around for no, nothing past two minutes that is all that you need to do right here at this step now in addition to that you want to go in and add one cup of coconut milk coconut milk coconut cream however you want to term it you could also use um powdered coconut whatever kind of a coconut you like now in addition to the coconut cream you want to add three cups of vegetable broth okay you can make your own vegetable broth you could buy it in a box but make sure that you had three cups to it so total you have four cups of liquid that you added to the mix now we want this thing to have flavor because when you cook vegan food you have to make it a flavor right so now I went in and added that um, two cans of red kidney beans one teaspoon of salt one teaspoon of um, the black pepper to it and one tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning we are talking flavor here flavor now this is not authentic y'all this is not authentic anything this is vegan style rice and peas flavor right flavor we're talking now we are going to go ahead and we are going to let this cook for about a good 30 minutes until it bubbles down to that and all the flavors and the ingredients come together and it looks like this looks just like that perfect all right now you want to go ahead and turn your fire down to medium heat at this step because you are going to let it boil for that 30 minutes on high heat with your rice you want to go in and add your rice into it and I am using parboiled rice to the parboiled rice I added some coconut spread my vegan coconut spread and add it into the mix like so so make sure that your fire guys is down to 
medium heat low to medium heat because we want this thing to steam and if you're still here watching me cooking and you have not subscribed to my channel here life is julianne go ahead and do so i appreciate it if you like the videos thumbs it up and share it with a friend with the, and with a family all right now give it a good taste test to make sure that it is to your liking with a foil paper go ahead and, and put that foil on top and seal it nice and tight with the lid just to make sure that no none of that steam comes out you want it to everything just lock in and so it was going to steam nice and slow on low to medium eat now after about a good 30 to 40 minutes of steaming time your rice and peas should be done it should be done it is going to look like this if you check it and it's still moist in the middle just give it a little bit more time another like 10 minutes and it should be okay but mine was perfectly fine but based on the rice that you might choose to use it might be either too soft or it might need a little bit more water if you need water just had a little teaspoon in the middle cover it up again and you should be done but mine was done in this time okay everything that i use for the recipe will be listed down below it's gonna be fast easy and simple that is it for today but be sure that you give the video a thumbs up all right i would so appreciate that and then please share the love with all your friends and family tell them what's going on over here man bring them comments send them come i'm waiting after they get them doing all of that tell me what you like to have me cooking in your kitchen and remember as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy